Hi, I'm Lanny, and this is Preserving Today. <laughs> what is that growing on my ferment? Mold or calm yeast? Now you're gonna be familiar with other types of yeast, right? Yeast for leavening bread like you buy at the store or sourdough starter. But there are many different types of yeast, just like there's many different types of mold. Can you say calm yeast? Calm yeast. This is a white powdery yeast that is harmless and may develop on the surface of one of your ferments. People contact me saying, oh no, my ferment is moldy. Do I have to throw it away? And I say, send me a picture. And when I see the picture, it's calm yeast. It's super commonly confused with mold, but there is very distinct differences. So let's look at them side by side today. Calm yeast starts by developing in spots and is white and powdery. If left to grow undisturbed, it can grow like a full mat of this powdery, almost bubbly looking stuff. But it's always white, it's always powdery looking. And this is one of the reasons I always recommend checking your fermented foods often, even when they're in the refrigerator. It's harmless, but it does affect the flavor. So you might not like how your ferment tastes after this gets going. The best way to save a ferment is just to scoop it off regularly. Now, when we look at mold, this is very different. This is like 3D. It's like looking at one of those topographical maps. There's white fuzzy stuff, black fuzzy stuff, green fuzzy stuff. Mold is not good. Some people have allergies to it. Other people think it makes you sick. Certain kinds of mold can be really bad. If it's a tiny spot of mold just starting, you can scrape it off and throw that piece of food away. But if it's really developed, you're probably gonna need to check the whole thing. So I'm sorry to say all your hard work is down the drain or hopefully in the compost. Can you say mold? Mold. Can you say pickles? Pickles. Bye-bye. You say preserving today? Preserving today.